Amidst a societal emphasis on selflessness and prioritizing others above ourselves, a thought-provoking concept challenges the status quo. The path to liberation unfolds through a unique form of self-centeredness. However, this unconventional interpretation of selfishness transcends ego-driven desires and instead centers on attuning to our soul's guidance, embracing inner wisdom, and nurturing a delicate equilibrium between self-nurturing and extending compassion to others. In the path to liberation, power becomes the driving force. According to Nietzsche, power is the key to liberation. He argues that what is good is anything that heightens the feeling of power, the will to power, power itself in humans. However, Nietzsche's understanding of power differs from the conventional notion of controlling others. For him, the desire to control others often stems from weakness or the will of the weak to assert superiority through devious means, leading to tyranny over the healthy. Nietzsche suggests that true power lies in cultivating power within ourselves. It is about personal growth and expansion, not exerting control over others. By embodying and expressing this power, we can liberate ourselves from societal expectations and limitations. To attain power, one must set meaningful and challenging goals that promote personal well-being, excellence, and authenticity. Self-doubt, fear, anxiety, and laziness may hinder progress, but Nietzsche sees these challenges as opportunities. Overcoming resistances allows us to enhance our capacities and overcome weaknesses, akin to a skilled warrior becoming stronger by facing worthy opponents. If everyone on our planet were connected with their source of energy, there would be no crimes because there would be no envy, insecurity, or negative feelings of rivalry. If everyone understood the power of their own being, no one would attempt to control or dominate others. The feelings of insecurity and hatred arise because many are not connected with their own being. The essence of life is freedom, and its outcome is expansion. Therefore, the most important aspect is not the manifestation itself, but how you feel in each moment. You entered this physical context of contrast to define your desires, to connect with the energy that creates worlds, and to allow it to flow toward the objects of your attention. Not because those objects are inherently significant, but because the act of allowing that energy to flow is essential for a fulfilling life. Your emotions provide valuable guidance about your connection with the source of energy. They indicate how much energy you are invoking in response to your desires and whether you are currently aligned in vibrational harmony with those desires. Merely choosing certain thoughts, beliefs, attitudes and talents along your physical journey doesn't mean you will continue to attract certain things as a result. You have creative control over your personal experience, and by paying attention to your emotional guidance, you can modify your point of attraction. If you are experiencing things you no longer want, you must change your beliefs. If there are certain experiences you desire but don't have, you must also adjust your beliefs. Choosing different thoughts requires concentration and practice. If you keep focusing on the same things, thinking the same thoughts, and holding the same beliefs, your experience won't change. Life is always in motion, and things are constantly changing. However, if you feel stuck, it's because you continuously focus on the same thoughts, even though they may seem different. To experience radical change, you need to shift your focus to different thoughts. This requires seeking alternative perspectives to address familiar issues. Byron Katie, renowned for her transformative journey, endured nearly a decade of profound emotional turmoil, grappling with paranoia, rage, and self-loathing. In the depths of her struggle, 
a pivotal moment of awakening transpired. She made a life-altering discovery, the direct link between her thoughts and her suffering. Recognizing that belief in her thoughts led to anguish, while questioning them dissolved her suffering, she unlocked a profound truth applicable to all humanity. Through this revelation, Katie unearthed an enduring inner joy, unshakable and ever-present, revealing the profound essence of liberation and the inherent power of choice. When we realize that we are each responsible for our own journey, when we free ourselves from constant self-judgment and judgment of others, we can begin to approach our true selves and move closer to liberation. It is through reconnecting with our soul, recovering that profound connection, that we can truly fulfill our purpose and find the freedom we seek. Others cannot fully understand your wishes or feelings. Although many are eager to help, they express a multitude of opinions, rules, demands, and suggestions on how you should live. However, they lack knowledge of the vibrational content of your desires and your true self, making them unable to guide you. Despite their good intentions, they cannot separate their desires for you from their own. Ultimately, nobody knows what is best for you more than you do. In your physical environment, you encounter numerous influences and expectations imposed by others. People often have opinions on how you should behave and try to influence or manipulate you to please them. However, trying to continuously move in the direction others want is not sustainable, and it often leads to feeling unsatisfied with yourself. The greatest gift you can offer to others is your own happiness, a state of joy, peace, or gratitude. In this state, your attention benefits both yourself and those around you. Others may not be aware that they have access to this source of well-being and may ask you to behave in a way that makes them feel better. However, their happiness does not depend on you or your actions. Each individual's emotional state depends solely on their own combination of energies. The way you feel at any given moment indicates whether you are in alignment with your desires and the source of energy. Positive feelings, creation, wealth, clarity, health, vitality, and well-being all depend on the vibrational match between your desires and your current state. If you rely on external influences as your guide, you may lose your way because others are not aware of the distance between where you are and where you want to be. By paying attention to how you feel, you can navigate the right path and achieve your goals. If one isn't selfish enough to deliberately align with the energy of their source, they have nothing to offer. Some may feel regret, thinking that if they selfishly pursue what they want, they may be taking away unfairly from others. However, this concern stems from the misconception that abundance is limited. They fear that if they take a large portion of the metaphorical cake, others will be left with less. In reality, the cake of abundance expands in proportion to the vibrational requests made by all. In our modern world, concepts like joy, freedom and love have often been reduced to cliches or trivialized by mass media and popular culture. They have become buzzwords rather than deeply meaningful aspects of our lives. Yet, despite this trivialization, these values remain at the core of our human experience. Life, by its very nature, presents us with challenges and fluctuations. It is unrealistic to expect constant happiness or to strive for it in every moment, as this can lead to a superficial pursuit that may ultimately result in disillusionment or even depression. However, within the depths of our being, we hold a treasure, the power to choose our attitude and to find joy, love, compassion and strength even in the midst of the darkest times. The key lies in embracing balance. It is through the delicate dance of light and shadow 
joy and sorrow that we discover the transformative nature of our own inner alchemy. Like skilled alchemists, we have the ability to transmute the raw materials of our experiences into something precious and valuable. In the crucible of life's challenges, we have the opportunity to refine ourselves. We can cultivate resilience, compassion, and wisdom. We can learn to find joy in the simplest of moments, to embrace freedom within the constraints of our circumstances, and to express love even in the face of adversity. This process of inner alchemy requires introspection, self-reflection, and a willingness to confront our shadows. It calls for self-compassion and forgiveness as we navigate the complexities of our own humanity. It is through this alchemical journey that we polish the rough edges of our souls, transmuting our experiences into the radiant gold of personal growth and spiritual evolution. Self-inquiry and introspection play a vital role in recognizing and understanding the repetitive cycles and patterns that keep us trapped. Through deep introspection, we gain the ability to observe these patterns without judgment. We become witnesses to our own experiences, allowing us to see them clearly and objectively. Instead of falling into the trap of self-criticism or blame, we approach these patterns with compassion and understanding. It is through this compassionate lens that we can begin the process of transformation, engaging in the inner alchemy of change. With compassion as our guide, we can gently and lovingly work towards breaking free from these cycles that have held us captive. Compassion becomes the key that unlocks the door to true transformation. It allows us to embrace ourselves fully, embracing both our light and shadow aspects and moving towards a state of wholeness. Do not fear to search inwards, delving into the depths of your soul's connection, as it is the most vital connection of all. From this profound connection, all other connections arise. Embrace the exploration and expression of your uniqueness. You have consciously chosen to inhabit this body and immerse yourself in a world of marvelous contrasts with the clear purpose of channeling energy and manifesting new worlds through the powerful lens of your distinctive perspective. Consequently, success in life is not measured by material possessions or wealth, but by the accumulation of feeling good and aligning with your true self.